Search for a Superior Suitor Chapter 2 The Search for a Suitable Husband The next morning, using his powers, the Guru summoned the Sun God to him and said, Please accept my daughter's hand. I wish you to marry her if she chooses so. But the daughter said, Father, the Sun God lights up the entire world, but he is unbearably hot and fiery-tempered. I do not wish to marry him. Please seek a better husband for me. The Guru wondered, who might be better than even the Sun God? The Sun God advised, Guruji, you can seek the alliance of the King of Clouds. He is superior to me, for he can cover me and my light. So the Guru, using his powers, summoned the King of Clouds and said, Please accept my daughter's hand. I wish you to marry her if she chooses so. But the daughter said, Father, the King of Clouds is dark, wet, and too cold. I do not wish to marry him. Please seek a better husband for me. The guru wondered, who might be better than even the king of clouds? The king of clouds advised, Guruji, you can seek the alliance of the lord of winds. He is superior to me, for he can blow me away. So the guru, using his powers, summoned the lord of winds and said, Please accept my daughter's hand. I wish you to marry her, if she chooses so. But the daughter said, Father, the Lord of Winds is too fast and restless. He keeps changing his direction. I do not wish to marry him. Please seek a better husband for me. The guru wondered, Who might be better than even the Lord of Winds? The Lord of Winds advised, Guruji, you can seek the alliance of the Lord of Mountains. He is superior to me, for he can stop me from blowing. So the guru, using his powers, summoned the Lord of Mountains and said, Please accept my daughter's hand. I wish you to marry her, if she chooses so. But the daughter said, Father, the Lord of Mountains is too hard and rigid. He is immovable. I do not wish to marry him. Please seek a better husband for me. The Guru wondered, Who might be better than even the Lord of Mountains? The King of Mountains advised, Guruji, you can seek the alliance of the King of Mice. He is superior to me, for he can make holes all over me. So the guru, using his powers, summoned the king of mice and said, Please accept my daughter's hand. I wish you to marry her, if she chooses so. When the daughter met the king of mice, she was delighted and shyly agreed to the marriage. The guru transformed his daughter into a beautiful female mouse for her to perform all household duties of her clan. Thus, the guru's daughter was married. Destiny is that fate and destiny cannot be changed or altered, but one can choose how to respond to it. The story illustrates how the daughter of the guru was destined to marry the king of mice, even though she rejected all other potential suitors, including powerful deities. Despite the daughter's initial reluctance to marry the king of mice, she ultimately embraced her destiny and married him. This story reminds us that while we may have some control over our lives and the choices we make, there are certain things that are predetermined and out of our control. However, how we react and respond to these predetermined events is entirely up to us. The daughter in the story could have rejected her fate and refused to marry the king of mice, but instead, she accepted her destiny and found happiness. This is Wonderful Words of Life Motivation. Thanks for watching.